Hello everybody, it's Ryan. I'm back with another tutorial. This time a request, how can I make this uh, pattern? So as you see, it's a red and black carbon fiber pattern. I've loaded it in background, uh, created a new layer, and we're gonna start with the rectangle tool. So hit M on your keyboard. And then switch to the default colors so that we can see what we're doing. I'm just gonna drag this shape over there and it kind of creates this first rectangle and then we're going to make another rectangle right here and then we have these two so the first one is going to be this red one that's horizontal and we need to pick out the gray for this other one um, now it's a gradient in each one the red one will just grab the red and drag it down to our gradient slider copy that red and remove the black so it goes from red over to red and it makes a solid color. Then we're gonna go into the hue, saturation, and brightness down there in the options. Go to like a deep wine red uh, and then we'll do a, a lighter version on the other side. So I made a mistake here. Uh, as you can see, I need to have a middle red to uh, make that transition. So we'll go ahead and redo that. Now we go back to the light color, so we go from that deep red to the red to that light uh, pink. We're going to move the locations of those transitions farther out, and then with the uh, gradient tool we can slide it around and get it, uh, rotate it until it looks ex as close as we can get it to that original uh, gradient color. And you can see how it looks on the, uh, the ones in the other part of the frame. So once I get how I like it, then we're gonna move on to that uh, gray colored block. And that is similar. We just drag the color down into the gradient swatch or into the, the gradient. We're gonna go from gray to a lighter, or deep gray to a lighter gray. So we're gonna copy that color across and start with a darker one. I want to go hue, saturation, brightness, bring it all the way down on the saturation because it looked like it had a little bit of a purple hue to it and I don't want that. So we'll do the same and then we'll pull up the brightness on the lighter color just a little bit so that it matches that color. And then we need to go in a vertical diagonal there, almost straight up but a little to the side and uh, play around with it and then we need to change the shape by the direct selection tool and so we have this weird corner makes more of a trapezoid rather than a, a rectangle and now I also need this darker red background so created a new rectangle with that and we'll use this later I'm not going to use it right now but uh, take a look at the grid and the grid is important because we need to be able to see where these things lie um, I go in really big detail on why we have to use the grid to create this image or create this pattern on my patreon you may not have known that I have a patreon but I do and uh, anyway so it's over there uh, go take a look at that and so we're just gonna resize this so it fits into the grid it won't be exactly, as you can see, it won't be exactly like the other pattern, but we've got to do it this way, otherwise it will not uh, repeat properly, just because it overlaps in two different directions, uh, horizontally and vertically. So we need to go this way. So we're going to drag one of these down here. As you see, I've made a duplication of the two shapes. We're going to drag this down here and you can see that there is that space in the background. That's what we're going to use this rectangle for. We're going to create a square with it and snap it to the, uh, or send it to backward, or send it to the back. And then we need to um, make it big enough so that it will be covered up with all of the overlapping parts of that turn the grid back on so we can see where that line is to make a perfect square. This one needs to come to the front and then we can select all of them and copy 
over to that side. We can remove the front one because we had two of them. Um, now we need to grab these and we can bump them over here again. And basically we're just filling in this pattern so that and bringing everything to the front where it needs to be. That's why I said we, you need to have get rid of those things that are overlapping. So apparently I don't have a perfect square here, so we will make that a square. All right. Back out, and you can see that it's pretty much done. So what we need to do now is create the, I mean, we can copy these things here to make it look like it's a repeating pattern. I'm going to create another square, and this one's going to go in the front. Again, with the default colors, we're going to slash out the fill color and give it a green stroke instead. So you can see the, uh, the corners, how they all line up. Everything lines up and matches vertically, except this part. We need to bump that up there. Line it up to where it would apply on the bottom so that it looks the same and all the way around. So anything that doesn't fit within that green line, we can get rid of. And that is about it. So there is our shape. I'll take that green line off so that uh, we'll make a group without the green line so that everything falls in line. And then we'll use that green line as our uh, clipping mask. That's what I did, Command 7. And then we can copy it over and copy it up so that we can see that that transition or there there is no transition it completely repeats perfectly um, on both the horizontal and vertical and we're going to take one of those and drag it in create a pattern swatch we'll create a square with the rectangle tool M on your keyboard hit that pattern and double click hit size tile to art make sure it's on grid and there it is a perfectly tiling pattern Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed it or if you learned something new. I sure enjoyed making it. And also be sure to subscribe for more videos. One of my goals this year is to create more content for YouTube and also on my website, ryandoeseverything.com. Go out and check that out. As always, have a good day and go out and learn something new. Thank you.